All right, let's go over this long setup on Solana. Of course, I call this in advance to have the Pro Discord. So you can click the first link in the description below if you want to get access to my personal setups and indicators. But this was a very solid trade setup. Now, I actually have to admit, I didn't take this one personally. Um, I didn't like the price action and I had a pretty good month last month. I had a pretty good month um, in the profits, so I didn't want to give any profits back, uh, but I did post this in the Pro Discord. Now, the reason I took this long position, this is a textbook long, and that's why I'm making this video here, is because you can see the price action at this level. This is like an A plus setup. This is an A plus setup, and this is what I mean when I say key level. Okay, you can see that this zone that I've drawn out here has acted as support, right? Failed this level, resistance, resistance, flip back to support, resistance, right? Resistance, okay? Resistance, 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 like, how many times has price tapped this level? So what that tells me is that this is a key level. There's price history here. This is an area of interest. And if price comes to this level, I want to look for a trade. So we actually broke out of this level, right? A clear breakout, right? A clear breakout with volume, right? Closing above this level. So once I see that we close above this level, I'm automatically looking for a retest of this zone and for more confluence we can use our golden pocket fib where i go down to a lower time frame we always like more than just one confluence right so grab our golden pocket fib from the most recent swing low to the most recent swing high we overlap that level perfectly so this general zone right here let me get my rectangle tool out okay go to entry zone so this general zone right here is where we want to look for a long position. So either enter a limit or go down to a lower time frame market order, which is what I would recommend. So if we go down to a lower time frame, you can see here we're getting some more confluences. We sweep these lows here, right? We sweep these lows here right into that key level. We see we have that buy dot on the oscillator going down to the one hour time frame. And if we go down to the 15 minute time frame, you'll see we had some bullish divergences as we swept that low with a buy signal on the algo i wouldn't go below a 15 minute time frame guys if you're watching this and take the trade right stop loss below the swing low and i'm hoping on letting this one run if you're in the trade uh, we already had tp1 but I, I would let this trade run to 200 right i want to see solana take out this liquidity up here at around 210 which would be a nice you know 10 risk to reward ratio when it's all said and done so this is just an example of how i trade support and resistance properly now a lot of people don't know how to trade support and resistance they say it doesn't work uh, because they aren't identifying key levels right you need to have price history you need to make sure that the area you're identifying is an area of interest right that has multiple taps in the past so you always want to see multiple taps always look left you know when i'm drawing key levels i always 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 look left and it makes sense right it makes sense when you're trading key levels if this level acted as resistance you know four times in the past right to a t and we finally break out above this level once price comes back down what can i expect i can obviously expect a reaction from this level right this is where the liquidity is this is where the buying pressure the buying volume will be so all we have to do is wait for a retrace go to a lower time frame with our confluences on the easy algo indicator verify that okay this is indeed a valid retest and then enter the trade and target higher prices so this is a simple breakout and retest you know people make trading so much more difficult than it has to be it's really not that difficult and this is the thing i say it's it's difficult in practice right but in theory you know it's very very simple and the strategies that i teach and the strategies that i've been teaching for years and years you can go through this youtube channel i've been teaching the same strategies for years and years it's quite simple, right? It doesn't take a genius to understand, okay, key level here. If we break out, go to a lower time frame to find an entry on the retest, right? It's very simple. Now you will need to train your eyes to spot and draw out these key zones, right? It's gonna take a little bit, which is why I'd recommend you guys to click the first link in the description below to get mentored directly from me. But I will be posting setups like this so you guys can learn how to draw these levels for yourself and to replicate. We also have the easy algo indicators which will give you these levels, or if I turn on the easy algo indicator, it will give you, right, that eight hour support level overlapping that level that I had drawn. But I wanna get you guys in the habit uh, of drawing these levels for yourself, but you can always use the easy algo support and resistance levels to do it for you as well. Just make sure you're taking trades at a key level that has multiple taps. I and mean, as you can see here, this is just a very clear key level. And this was a very simple, uh, long idea, very simple, long thesis. So that's going to be it for this trade recap. Comment if you guys have any questions, leave a like, and I got a banger video on the way talking about exactly what I showed you in this video. It's going to be a good one. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next video.